I'm Maria Lorena Lehman, award-winning author of the book Adaptive Sensory Environments and founder of the Sensing Architecture Academy of Design. In today's micro lecture, we're going to take a look at a quote from my book, Adaptive Sensory Environments. I think this quote really captures the spirit of the book and is a good gateway to help you understand why this book is significant and how it can help you as an architectural designer. So this is the book that I will be reading from. It is Adaptive Sensory Environments. And the quote is as follows. A successful adaptive architecture is one where the occupants are better off after having experienced the architecture. That is, they transform in some way for the better as a result of engaging with the built environment. This becomes life-changing architecture. So this is a quote from chapter nine of my book, Adaptive Sensory Environments. And I think it's very important because in today's day and age, we have so much technology that is emerging and becoming more and more proliferated into our environments. And as occupants and people in general are engaging with these technologies, interactions are happening every second. And these interactions are becoming more and more D the default mode, perhaps where designers are taking them for granted at times. So this book, Adaptive Sensory Environments, can help you as an architectural designer to really tap into the advantages that new technologies are bringing as they emerge into environments. And as designers of the built environment, it is up to us to help guide such technologies to help ensure that the interactions and impact that they are having with occupants are not only beneficial, but also can help occupants to improve their lives in very transformative ways. So as an architectural designer, I invite you to ask of yourself as you design about how you are helping and impacting occupants. Are you simply trying to help them with a task that they're trying to complete? Are you trying to help them overcome a challenge through your architectural design? Or are you trying to uplift their quality of life in a very transformative way? Now, all three of these pursuits with your architectural design is no, are noble, but I encourage you to dive deeply as you're designing to help you better understand how your architecture can really impact your occupants in very heightened ways. To go beyond merely helping them with a task, to really help them uplift their quality of life, to transform their life, to help them become the best version of themselves, to help them relate to themselves, each other, and their surrounding environment in the best ways possible. So I invite you to learn more about multi-sensory design and also about emerging technologies and how these both can work together within architectural environments. If you'd like to learn more about these topics and take a deep dive into learning a methodology to help you with your architectural designs, please read my book, Adaptive Sensory Environments, which I think will help you to design architecture in a more conscious and aware state so that you can design buildings that truly uplift your occupants. I look forward to seeing you in the next micro lecture.